Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Suhanna. A lot of you have been asking me what shampoo I'm currently using or what shampoos, plural, I've been using. And I did mention in my um, hair density serum review that I've been trying quite a few Korean scalp care products and scalp care shampoos. So today I'm going to share my thoughts on those products. And we're also gonna touch on hair loss because these are anti-hair loss hair products. This video is in partnership with Selvana, which is a K-beauty and K-fashion uh, marketplace. Before we talk about these anti-hair loss products, I did actually want to talk about hair loss, especially now during the since the pandemic started, more and more people have been experiencing telogen effluvium, aka stress-induced hair loss. You're not going crazy. It's not just you. A lot of people have been experiencing telogen effluvium because of the stress and unpredictability caused by the And you guys need to remember, I've said this before, but we need to remember that hair loss is a medical condition, but so many of us do not treat it that way. You should be speaking to your doctor, and if you can get a referral to a trichologist, speak to a trichologist. I understand healthcare is not as accessible as it is here in Canada, but if you can speak to your GP at the very least and express your concerns about your hair loss, that is your first step, that should be your first step. And then adding in these supporting products, these anti-hair loss products, these scalp health products, that is just like a supporting step. But the first step should always be to address any medical underlying issues and speak to a medical professional. Telogen effluvium, stress news hair loss is not permanent. It is temporary. Even after your stressors have been mitigated, you could still experience thinning and hair fall for three to six months after the fact, but your hair should grow back assuming you don't have anything else contributing to your hair loss. I did find two really helpful, easy to understand articles talking about the panorama and hair loss. So I will have those linked below, but just know you're not alone. You're not going crazy. You're not losing your mind. A lot of people are going through the same thing you are if you're experiencing this increased hair loss or hair thinning. All right, so let's talk about the products. Now, all of these Korean anti-hair loss products do include Sika and then peptide um, formulas or peptide complexes. Sika is short for Cantella Atika or Ajika? Asia. Tika, I think that's how you say it, extract, and it's known for its soothing properties and is commonly used to nourish skin when used in skincare, and it can also nourish your scalp. And it's very, again, very, very common in K-beauty. And then the peptide complexes are meant to deliver nutrients to your hair and to your scalp. And I have been using two Sika shampoos. There's the Dr. VT Sika Intense Shampoo and then the Some By Me Sika Peptide Anti-Hair Loss Shampoo. They're both anti-hair loss shampoos. This one just says Sika Hair Loss Care Reduces Hair Loss, Soothes Itchy and Sensitive Scalp Solution for Thinning Hair. This one is scalp care, cooling, and has a low pH. The Some By Me Shampoo is sulfate-free and the Dr. VT contains sulfate. I'll pop the full ingredient list up on the screen if you guys want to pause and read it, but some of the key ingredients in the Dr. VT shampoo, which is the one that does contain sulfate, are Sika leaf water, so that's the first ingredient on the list. There's also two sodium, um, there's two sulfates, there's sodium laureth sulfate and sodium laurel sulfate. It also has some niacinamide in there, You've got some menthol in there for the soothing and cooling sensation. I do like to use this shampoo once a week after I do my pre-poo because this does contain two sulfates. But what I like about it is that even though it contains sulfate, it's not stripping or drying at all. My scalp feels clean, my roots don't feel heavy, they feel cleansed, but they don't feel dry or stripped. My scalp treatment, my pre-poo does have a lot of oils in it and I find that this shampoo does a good job of removing it thoroughly without again, drying out my scalp or my roots. And this does have a thicker, creamier consistency. I like to emulsify it in my hands and then apply it to my scalp. I'll massage it for like two minutes and then rinse it out. As for the Som By Me shampoo, some of the key ingredients do include Sika, sodium, laurel, 
I'm not gonna even attempt to say that long name, but it's a, a sulfate-free surfactant, disodium laureth sulfosicinate, which is another um, sulfate-free surfactant, panthenol, salicylic acid, which is great for gentle chemical exfoliation of the scalp, niacinamide, biotin, and 11 peptides, I believe. They have an 11 peptide complex. Yes, I did just change my shirt to fix the lighting because the clouds are moving a lot, but this shampoo I do like, but I like it more for like my midweek wash because it is sulfate free. It has milder surfactants in it. It is still cleansing. It does still foam up pretty nicely. It's more of like a liquidy texture, um, but this is just like a decent midweek shampoo. If your hair is really dirty or has a lot of product buildup, this may not get the job done, but it's a nice midweek refresher. It does have the same cooling properties as the Dr. VT shampoo. At the end of the week, I'm going for the Dr. VT one because it's a little bit stronger, and midweek, I can get by with this one. Next up, we have the Som By Me Derma Scalp Treatment. It comes in this little squeeze tube, and it's meant to be used after the uh, Derma Scalp shampoo. You're supposed to apply it to your hair and your scalp, leave it on for two to three minutes, and then rinse it out. Some of the key ingredients are Sika, again, because it is a Sika peptide complex. There are peptide complex of 11 different peptides. There's zinc in it, there's salicylic acid, there's menthol in it, again, to create that cooling, soothing effect. And there are a whole bunch of protein and fruit extracts to support your hair. Now, my biggest beef with this is just the size of the product. I wish this came in a bigger tube. You guys know I have longer hair. I did take some length off, but my hair is pretty long. So the amount of product you get in here, it's not a lot. It is quite inexpensive. So I guess you could just order like multiple tubes at once. So that's my biggest problem with this, but I do like the way it makes my hair feel. It feels a lot softer and like, it does make my hair look a little bit more defined, which is nice, I guess because of the protein. But after I use this, I still make sure to condition my hair. I think you could probably skip conditioner after using this, but I don't like to run that risk. So I condition my hair after the fact. And like the corresponding shampoo, this is meant to support your scalp health and your hair health. It's meant to soothe your scalp, relieve itchiness, and uh, reduce hair fall. And last but not least, we have the Sika Peptide Anti-Hair Loss Scalp Tonic. This is probably my favorite product out of all of them just because of how easy it is to use and how much of a difference it's made in like the itchiness and the flakiness of my scalp. This in conjunction with my pre-poo and those shampoos has significantly decreased the amount of itching I've experienced on my scalp. Key ingredients do include denatured alcohol if you care but I think the denatured alcohol in this just helps it dry faster so it doesn't make your hair feel wet. There's also menthol, salicylic acid. All of the Som By Me anti-hair loss products do contain salicylic acid in them. There's also panthenol in it, biotin, peppermint and spearmint leaf extract, which is beautiful for that minty cooling sensation. There's a whole bunch of fruit extracts and then a whole bunch of peptides like the other Som By Me products. This is a leave-on product. You can just spray it on your hair section by section. That's the way it's meant to be used. I like to really pull up this section here and then I just close my eyes, spray it, and then I'll just massage it into my scalp. Again, it absorbs very, very quickly, very easily. You can use this every single day if you want to, and you can even use this in the morning. You don't have to worry about your hair feeling wet or greasy, and I think that's what I like the most. It's just the ease of the product itself. It comes in a spray. You don't have to worry about making a mess. You don't have to worry about your hair being oily or greasy. If your hair is feeling itchy, instead of scratching your scalp, you can just spray this onto your scalp and it immediately relieves the itch. Overall, even though I can't speak directly to the reduced hair loss claims of the products, simply because I haven't been using them long enough, by default, your hair does grow half an inch every four weeks and I've been using them for just under four weeks. I have noticed a significant reduction in the dryness of my scalp, the itchiness of my scalp, and the irritation that I was experiencing on my scalp. I even sometimes would break out on my scalp, not have like acne on my scalp, but I would feel like a little bump and I'm like, where did that come from? And then, oh look, I started using salicylic acid hair products and 
the bumps are gone. So I can say if you are having scalp issues and you're looking for scalp support, these are worth checking out. If you guys liked the video and you found it helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And thank you again to Style Bonnet for sending me these goodies and for partnering with me on this video. But that is everything. Okay, bye.